Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue on with some side quests, along with taking down General Radon. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen and I did absolutely nothing. Again, I did nothing. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to go into our map. We're going to zoom out. We're going to go over to the Bestial Sanctum and talk to Garank and give him some death root. Go ahead and give him three death root. Strange. There's something else. But the death yet quenches. Bring more. So for giving him the three death root, we get the Ash of War Beast Roar. Bestial Vitality and Bestial Sling. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rest at this grace. And as soon as we do, Garank is going to get hostile towards us. So as soon as we rest, we're going to start buffing. Let's go ahead and buff our sword, drink our wonders flask of physic, summon an Oleg, and then we want him to aggro towards Oleg. He hits very hard and he will not take very much damage when you hit him. Go ahead and de-summon Oleg. If you're having trouble beating him, when you die, you're just going to come back anyways. Just keep trying. The best bet is, in my opinion, using the Bloodhound Fang. Just being able to use the L2 and then R2 attack. Let's go ahead and talk to Garank. <sighs> Put it away. I won't forget again. My appetite. My sin. So please. Enough. So we're going to rest at the grace again. And he should go back to where he started. He's no longer hostile. Like I said, he is a very tough fight. If you die, just, you know, keep, keep trying. You'll eventually take him down. You don't have to hit him very much. He is very strong. And the reason... He's very strong is because he is a boss much, much later in the game. And that's all I'll say for now. So there is a reason why he hits so hard and why you do very little damage to him. So with him back to where he's at, let's go ahead and go back to our map. We're going to hit R3, zoom out a little bit. We're going to go to the Soifra Riverbank and go talk to Blythe. gonna hop on torrent don't forget we're gonna have a few enemies that we're gonna want to kill before talking to Blythe just follow the cliff side here ok 
Couldn't have went any better. Let's let Blythe know what we found out about Nokron. Ah, well met. What news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsgur's Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. Let's head over to the round table hold. We're going to go talk to Rogier, or Rogier, however you pronounce his name. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. A little bit of foreshadowing there with Rogier. We're going to talk to Fia. We're going to get a hug from her. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. Then good day to you, my dear. Let's go ahead and get rid of the debuff here by using up the Baldockian's Blessing or Baldakin's Blessing, whichever one it's called. I always forget. I'm sure it can be pronounced either way and still be correct. We're going to talk to D. We're going to give him this withered dagger that Fia gave us. Ah, hello there. What can I do for you? Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Let's rest at the round table. And D is going to disappear. D is actually going to die. So if you haven't got any incantations from him, it's still okay. We're going to get his bell bearing. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. 
the stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Fia, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. She's going to disappear and she's going to go elsewhere. We'll meet up with her later on into the game. For now, let's loot D. We're going to get D's bell bearing along with his gear. We can take his bell bearing over to the twin maiden husks. First, let's go ahead and level a few things up. Well, I took you no today. How's your own? We're going to level up our claymore and our Lord Sworn's greatsword, along with our bow. So no more hugs from Fia, which I'm cool with. We're going to offer D's bell bearing. And if you're ever wanting to buy anything from a dead NPC and you get their bell bearing, you can come right here to the twin maiden husks and go into their, um, name and you'll be able to buy anything that you might have missed okay let's go ahead and go to the map now we're going to go over to red main castle we're going to go fight general radon but before we do that if you did d's quest with fia before going to the bestial sanctum you're going to be locked out of that quest line so do be aware of that. Go to the Bestial Sanctum first and then go do the stuff in the Round Table Hold or else you're going to be locked out of that quest. Now let's go ahead and go to Red Main Castle Plaza. We're going to come over here to the left. She's not going to say anything, but she's going to give us the polite bow emote. Let's go ahead and talk to Blythe. Ah, there you are. Took your sweet time. The players are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Once more into the fray together, eh? <laughs> this might even be fun. I love this part, just hearing this speech here in a second. Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. We can see Alexander over here. Let's go ahead and talk to him real fast. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, gosh. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. 
Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. So get a good look at Alexander now. After the fight, he's going to look much different. Well, not much different, but he is going to have subtle differences after the fight with Radon. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! We get the heartening cry emote from him. We're going to talk to him one more time. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. We're just going to run back here into the chapel. Come over here to pick up a smithing stone six. And then we're going to take the elevator down. This is going to be our first real challenging fight in the game. For me, I'm a little over leveled, so I don't think it'll be too much of a challenge. If you're a little under leveled, he might be a little more difficult for you. So right here, as soon as we go through this portal, the fight's going to start. There's no cutscene, no nothing. He's going to start attacking you, so be ready. Here we go. We're going to want to run and get behind those weapons there. And then you just want to wait to the last minute and dodge. Just stay behind these weapons and you should be all right. I hate when he does that because then I can't really see what he's doing. Patches is going to leave as soon as uh, you summon him in. To me, I think that's trolling on FromSoft's part. Hopefully some of these guys will aggro him so we can buff up. And then we're going to use Scarlet Rod on him. Try not to stand right in the line of fire there. 
Whatever you do, do not use your wondrous flask of physic. We're going to wait to use that until the mid fight. He'll go into a second phase. He's going to jump up into the air and now go ahead and use your wondrous flask of physic. And you're going to see him come down and completely murder that guy. And there we go. Star Scourge Radon is dead. We get his great ruin and we get his remembrance. So now we have a marker on our map where that meteor or shooting star, whatever you want to call it, has uh, fallen. By the way, again, I just want to reiterate when he jumps into the air is when you want to use your wondrous flask of physic if you have the bubble tier. Because then you can negate any damage he's going to do with that meteor attack because that will one shot you. I have not found another way to dodge that other than dodging it like at the last minute or using the bubble tier. I recommend just using the bubble tier and, you know, tanking the damage there. Let's go ahead and talk to Blythe and then Alexander. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. What a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. For Mistress Rani. We'll light this grace. And then I want to go into the map really fast. And over here, about right here, we're going to have a dungeon. We're not going to go through the dungeon. We're just going to go light the grace over there and uh, use the summoning pool. For now, let's go ahead and talk to Alexander. As you can tell, he's a little more beat up after this fight compared to what he was before it. Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward, and as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Oh, but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. 
<laughs> Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We want to make sure that the red main castle is on our left side. We're going to hop on Torrent. There's a couple goodies we can pick up over here. Just west. And then southwest. And then we're going to turn around and head straight towards that marker. There's one more little goodie over here. It's just Radon spears, which are great arrows. So if you don't care about them, I wouldn't worry about picking them up. But if you're using a great bow, they do quite a bit of damage. It is quite a ride over to this dungeon or catacomb. I think it's a catacomb technically, but still. Now we're not going to be going through this catacomb. Like I said, we're just going to grab the grace and then the summoning pool. And then we're going to head over to Nokron. Go ahead and touch that grace. And then activate the summoning pool. And then we're going to head right back out. This dungeon is a little more difficult than we need to deal with at the moment. This dungeon's a little more difficult than we're... Let's go ahead and go over to Fort Height West. Turn our lantern on. And then we're going to hop on Torrent. I'm not going to put a marker down. Because it's pretty easy to figure out where the meteor has fallen. I'm just going to follow this path around until we get to this big tree here. And we're going to hop off Torrent for just a second and see that Blythe left us a note. There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokron then. Go on. I'll catch up. So he's telling us to head down to Nokron. Just going to circle around here. Do not jump. You will die. Just walk straight off. You can jump now if you want, but you can just walk straight off. And then veer off to the north. You're going to see a little opening over here. You can jump. And then now we're in Nokron. Kind of. Not fully, but we're getting there. Go ahead and get us a Golden Ruin 5. Hop down over here. Some sleep grease. Here is the hardest part of the episode. It's not even General Radon. Right here, jumping to this ledge. You're only going to get a torch we're doing this so if you don't care about the torch don't come over here but I like to get absolutely everything so I come over here no matter what 
Pick up the ghost flame torch. And then we'll fall down right here. Fall down right here. Take out that guy. Be very careful, they can shoot bolts at you. that guy out maybe there's three more up top here not hard to kill get ourselves a rune arc want to come over here we're going to take this guy out right over here careful for that guy If you need some flasks, you can kill that scarab for him. Then I like to come up here and get a silver tear husk. That's just some crafting material. You don't have to pick it up if you don't want it. If you're not worried about crafting. I really don't craft in this game very much, even though you can do perfumer stuff. I've never used the perfumer stuff, so... I don't know. If you're using the perfumers kind of stuff to fight with, let me know in the comments how it's working out. And uh, if there's some good combinations that you can use with the perfumer set. Get ourselves a for calling finger remedy. Smithing stone five. And then down here, we're going to have some basic enemies they're not hard but they can cause frostbite so be very careful when they hit you with those torches it'll have frostbite build up along with when they shoot you with their arrows just like that They can drop those arrows as well when you kill them. They're not worth farming over here though. Got some more sil silver tear husk. And then a golden rune six over here. We'll grab this last silver tear husk. And then we're going to light this grace, activate the summoning pool, and then end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everyone thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, Signing off.